Morning, Puffins. You okay? Hope you had a nice weekend. Right, should we say hello to all our friends? After three, one, two, three. Good morning, Puffins. Hey, that's good. Right, let's see how many days we've been working together now. What was it last time? Can you remember? Right, shall we count? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What comes next? Tell me what it looks like before I put it up. What's the number? What does it look like? The number is twelve, and it's going to have one lot of ten, and zero ones. One lot of one. So this one's gonna have two lots of ones. It's twelve. One ten and two ones. Ten and two make twelve. Right, should we count in twos up to twelve? Because look, we've got one of our even numbers. Let's go two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Do you know? Could you predict what comes next if you were counting in twos? Do you know? If you have a look when you count in twos, look, you miss out a number. Jump over one. So, you can have to jump over whatever this one's going to be to work it out. What's it going to be? It's going to be 14, because we're going to jump over the next number, which is 13. So, the last time we worked together, it was Friday, before the weekend, but since Friday, we've had Saturday and Sunday, and we're back to the beginning of the week, a new one, so the day will be Monday. And today, it's going to be um, the normal things, but instead of the morning challenge today, we've got our Zoom session, haven't we? So well, hopefully we'll see you all at ten past ten. And we're going to play free games of bingo. So make sure you've done your bingo cards. Um, you can get those from the folder on the website. And we're going to do one round where Mrs. Cut's going to read out the numbers. A round where Mrs. Miss Downham's going to show you the numbers. So you have to look at the number, read it. As long as it's the right way around. And then we'll play it. And then I'm going to do a round where I'm going to hold up Numicon and you've got to work out what the number is, okay? So I'm looking forward to seeing your your faces this morning. So, but otherwise it's the usual. be Go Noodle, handwriting, phonics, maths and boogie time, afternoon challenge and chapter two of Flat Stanley. I wonder what's going to happen to him now he's flat. So now we're going to do... The next month we're going to look at in the months of the year. So if you want to order your months of the year first, in the video link below, there is like a song where you could play that while you're ordering them if you wanted to, to help you get them in the right order. But I've seen some videos of you on Tapestry and you're looking good at how close you're getting to getting them now. So it's quite tricky to remember 12, isn't it? So get your things in order. You could watch the video while you're doing it and then come back. And then once you've got them in order, let's have a look at them together. So we've got January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Now, last time we looked at January, the first month, we're going to look at the second month of the year quickly now, which is February. And we're just going to talk about February very quickly. And in February, it reminds me of you guys when you kept talking about who you were going to marry and who you were in love with. Because in February is when you have Valentine's Day and you might send Valentine's presents to each other or a card. And you went to the Valentine's disco, lots of you. So in February, on February the 14th, people think about the people who they love. And also, what's spe special about February is it's the month that has... The least number of days in it. Three, for three years, it only has 28 days. And then every fourth year, it has 29. And we call that a leap year. Okay. So, do you remember all that love things? Oh, I do. Um, 
Right, to finish, I spotted something last night on my walk. It wasn't very dark, it was um, quite early, but something that appeared in the field, so I thought I'd share you with that at the end. All right, see you later. Look at this tonight, Puffins. This field's been empty every time I've walked past it. And look, there's a sheep. There's so many birds as well. Oh, did you hear them bark? 